Hello and welcome to the sport program on SBC coming to you live from the national capital Juba. My name is Majur Cholkor. This week on our editions of the sport program on SBC, we take a look on the role of South Sudan National Olympic Committee in the Republic of South Sudan. Here right here in the studio of SBC is Honorable Engineer Juma Steven, the President of South Sudan National Olympic Committee. Honorable, allow me to say it, I'm profoundly honored mm -hmm. and exceedingly humble having you in the studio of SLBC. You're most yeah, welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome yeah. to you. Yeah, welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Before we start uh, about why you are here, why this show is meant for the sport lovers in the country, your greeting to South Sudanese and the sport men and the sport women in the country. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, SSBC, uh, for this day that. Uh, South Sudan National Olympic Committee is privileged to be here and uh, uh, share uh, with the audience and with the sports family yeah. uh, as is connected with uh, South Sudan National Olympic Committee. And uh, actually under the lockdown of corona, activities are stopped. So uh, we wish them a uh, good stay and uh, protection from God Almighty. Amen. Amen. You're welcome once again. Uh, you. Welcome to the SSBC and uh, especially the sport programs on SSBC. Thank uh, you. To begin with, let's know the sport lovers in the country and the viewers of SSBC would love to know what is South Sudan National Olympic Committee. It is the name, it's Olympic yeah. Committee, but what is it? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, South Sudan National Olympic Committee is an umbrella for all the sports federations in the country. It is responsible for the sports in the country. It's a supreme body, actually, because under the Olympic Committee, we have a number of uh, associations and federations. In our case, in South Sudan, at the moment, the umbrella of South Sudan National Olympic Committee, mm -hmm. we have uh, 10 affiliated uh, federations, uh, like we have uh, football federations, uh, basketball federation, handball federations, volleyball federations, athletic federations, taekwondo federations, judo federation, and uh, boxing federations, and karate uh, federation, and uh, lastly is uh, table tennis federation. So these are the affiliated federations under the umbrella of South Sudan National Olympic Committee. Thank you so much for letting the viewers know what South Sudan National Olympic Committee is about. Thank you. If we talk about the South Sudan Olympic Committee, what can we know about South Sudan Olympic Committee? I mean the viewers, the sport lovers in the country. Can yeah. you briefly talk about what we can know about South Sudan National Olympic Committee? South Sudan National Olympic Committee actually is uh, a newly affiliated uh, body of the Republic of South Sudan to the International Olympic Committee. Uh, of course, we are uh, going back to history. Mm. Uh, after independence of South Sudan mm. uh, in 2011, mm. there are a number of, of uh, issues taking place to rearrange South Sudan to the international family. In the sports sector, there is uh, sports federations need to be formed, as well as the Olympic body need to be formed. So South Sudan National Olympic Committee in 2015, mm. we had a founding general assembly for South Sudan National Olympic Committee so that we arrange for the affiliations. Mm. So after electing the new body and the first uh, body for South Sudan National Olympic Committee mm. was led by uh, General uh, Wilson Den Koyro. He was the first president of South Sudan National Olympic Committee. He's a current ambassador to South Africa. Okay. So they went to Kuala Lumpur in uh, 2015. Mm. They presented the, the file for South Sudan. So you mean 2015 where the, the, the committee set and do the elections was yes. the time that you came into the positions of being the president? No, no, no. That was the first. I'm talking of the first body which is a founding general assembly. Okay. I was the first vice president to Wilson Koirot. Okay. So they went to Kuala Lumpur. 
they presented the file of South Sudan, then South Sudan was accepted to the international body as a member of 2006 to the International Olympic Committee. Okay. The current body, yes. which is actually elected in 2017, okay. in February 2017. When did South Sudan National Olympic Committee came into existence? I mean, when was it established? This is what I was telling you about the 2015. It was established in 2015, where a founding General Assembly was done. And the General Assembly was done, and South Sudan was affiliated. And the first body was led by General Wilson, and I was the first Vice President. And we have Gismar Lamarajan was the second Vice President. And the period of that body was only for one and a half year. Because normally, after the Olympic Games, mm -hmm. after Olympic Games, all the, the bodies will go for election. Mm. So we, as South Sudan, attended uh, Olympic Games in Tokyo 2016. It was in uh, July, August. After attending that one, after six months elapsed, all bodies, they have to exercise their democratic right to, for new election. Mm -hmm. So it took us to 2017 where the new body was elected and I was brought in as a president of South Sudan National Olympic Committee. What does Senama. the constitution say about your term in the office? The term normally is four years. Four years. Yes, and the four years normally is the also period for every Olympic. Olympic is done every four years. Okay. So in 2016, the Olympic was done in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. And in 2020, supposed to be done in Tokyo, but unfortunately due to the corona pandemic. Mm -hmm. It is now pushed to 2021. Thanks for giving us the overview and understanding of what South Sudan National Olympic Committee means. And dear yeah. viewers on SSBC, thank you so much for joining us and following the sport programs coming to you live on the National Capital Juba. And this is SSBC. This week on our edition of the sport program, we take a look on the role of South Sudan National Olympic Committee in sport in the Republic of South Sudan. We will go into that deeply, but right now, let's know about uh, South Sudan National Olympic Committee, given the federation that you have mentioned that are part of uh, the South Sudan National Olympic Committee. Why were they made to be part of the South Sudan National Olympic Committee? What is the reason of them coming together under one umbrella? Well, uh, this one we refer to Olympic Charter. The Olympic Charter is uh, organizing all the sports sector for Olympic Games. So yeah, according to that charter, mm -hmm. any Olympic body, under them, they have to be associations or federations. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have now just growing. Because other Olympic bodies, they have more than 27 affiliated uh, bodies in the, the, in the Olympic. Mm -hmm. So uh, Olympic normally is formed from the national federations available in the country. And these national bodies, mm -hmm. they are also members to their international bodies. You can see there are parallel uh, affiliations. Mm -hmm. The federation, they are affiliated to the in their international, respective international bodies, mm -hmm. as well as under the umbrella of Olympic body. And also the Olympic body is affiliated to the International Olympic Committee, which is the supreme body in the world. Coming to South Sudan National o Olympic Committee, what yeah. are the main objectives of this committee? Yeah, of course, it is obvious. Olympic is there to promote sports, to develop the athletes, talent of the athletes in all the uh, sports disciplines. The Olympic is there to, to develop this, mm. as well as make sure that infrastructure, sport infrastructure in the country mm. are also uh, done in coordination with the government uh, in the country. So in our case, we have to pursue uh, development of sports athletes, as well as the, the infrastructure in the country uh, in different uh, disciplines. 
Good. We'll talk a little bit about development and sport yeah. infrastructure in the country yeah. later. Right now, let's know about your role. As you mentioned, is to develop the sport and infrastructure. Apart from that, mm -hmm. what is the ro another role of South Sudan National Olympic Committee in sport in the country? What yeah. have you done? What have you done? South Sudan National Olympic Committee, of course, uh, after coming into office, mm. they have to prepare for the next Olympic Games. To prepare for next Olympic Games, they have to make sure that there are uh, regional competitions, mm. there are international competitions where uh, the athletes in the country are prepared through their uh, uh, federations. Mm. And if they are prepared, then the South Sudan Olympic Committee we select from different disciplines to form an Olympic national team. What do you mean different discipline? A discipline is the federation I mentioned earlier, like football. Are they discipline? Yeah, we call them. <laughs> yeah. That is a terminology used. <laughs> These are part of the discipline, okay. which is uh, football. Then we'll have national Olympic football team. We'll have national athletics uh, Olympic team, handball, basketball, and so on. And the Olympic age is always considered because Olympic o always, they select the youth category. Maximum up to 22, 23 years. Mm. These are the category to be selected for the Olympic teams. And they can put in any other age which is more than that. But the concentration is to, to build the youth. The concentration is the youth. So the Olympic teams normally, mm -hmm. uh, their age is limited up to maximum 25 and what, below. What is the reason why they focus on uh, the, the young ones of 20 to 23 years, 22 years, according to what you say? This is the values of Olympic. They have to promote the youth. And the youth are the future of any country. So building the youth in the sport, different sport discipline, mm. also is building the nation. So we have to concentrate that we have to build the youth and make them responsible in the sports, and automatically they also to be responsible in their uh, country in different uh, department where they they have to work. Is that one only your role that you are doing right now? There are, there are many roles actually. Uh, the Olympic. For us, as a founding Olympic body, mm. our concern is to make sure that we develop infrastructure. So uh, in our case, uh, we are trying with the state's government to make sure that they prepare and allocate land for sports all over, all over our states. For example, here in uh, Central Equatoria, mm. uh, we have been allocated a piece of land across the river which is one kilometer by one kilometer. So to develop that piece of land mm. is now our plan with the government to make sure that that one is considered. And also we are trying to share with the international body. And I, I mentioned here in one of the programs uh, in uh, some years back, mm. the Thomas Bach is the president of International Olympic Committee. They say they will assist South Sudan to construct a track so that is an offer which is coming from the International Olympic. They are still making arrangements so that that uh, offer can see light. And we are still working with them. Even though it, is, it has taken a length of time, but it will come. Okay. So. According to your capacity as the president of South Sudan National Olympic Committee, and as South Sudan National Olympic Committee has a body is concerned, Apart from the, the, the land, the, the, the piece of land that you mentioned is being given to you and is yet to be developed, what other infrastructures, sport infrastructures, can we say you have in the country as your, part of your airport? Well, uh, of course, after coming uh, as a body, mm. we have existing infrastructures. If we go back to history of Sudan, one Sudan, mm. I think there is nothing much done in South Sudan in the terms of infrastructure. So 
when uh, South Sudan emerged as a country, there is much to be done mm. in all the sectors. In the sports, simply we have Juba Football Stadium, mm -hmm. Wow Football Stadium, and also in Malakal. So these were the existing facilities. And in Yambio, in Western Equatoria, mm -hmm. we have also one developed for the, for the peace uh, uh, celebrations. There is one prepared there. But as a long big body now, mm -hmm. we have to, to prepare uh, to the standard, to the Olympic standard. If you can recall, uh, early this, uh, this week, mm -hmm. the National Minister of Sports was uh, online with the other African uh, ministers uh, under the umbrella of the uh, AU Commission mm -hmm. of his Sports. They were actually working together to plan together to make sure that his sport is promoted in, in, this, uh, in the African country. So the minister was saying that he's uh, to create an Olympic stadium. So it is in line with what Olympic Committee is doing. So what the minister said, we have to have an Olympic stadium. Olympic stadium with uh, the specification and a standard available for the Olympic. So there is much to be done together with the Ministry of his Sports because there is the ministry responsible for the use as well as for the sport. So working together with the ministry, things will move. Okay. Yeah. Talking about uh, e-sport and South Sudan National Olympic Committee before, as one of the role is to devolve the youth. What do you think e-sport can change in youth? Well, we are aware that there are uh, leaders and experts. They are saying, like later uh, Nelson Mandela, mm -hmm was saying sports has a power and that power is a catalyst mm. a catalyst to bring harmony among the youth it's a catalyst to bring stability among the youth so in our case as a country as south sudan we have to concentrate actually to bring harmony among our youth because we have come emerge from crisis mm. so this crisis is actually to be quenched when we are bringing uh, the use up. Understand. And, and insert inside the use the spirit of togetherness, the spirit of peace, the spirit of uh, brotherhood. That is what is sport is doing to our use. And uh, we are sure that this one can happen with the use of South Sudan. This one can happen with the use of South Sudan. Yes. Is it happening? Yes, I can say that it is happening, and uh, we are waiting to move actually to the states. The Olympic Committee is planning to move to the states. We will actually coordinate with the governors so that that spirit can be given as part of the awareness. Even this program, mm. if they are listening, it is part of the awareness to be given to the youth. There are crises among the youth in Jungule and where. For us in the sport sector, we say no. Please come, go back, be with your brothers in other states. Hon are Honorable, one. before we talk more about your role and the importance of sport to you and to other sport lovers in the country, as you once being a football player or maybe one of these uh, federation players, have you been trying to play one day? Yeah, actually, uh, since childhood. We studied, of course, football since we were in the primary school, mm -hmm. even in the junior secondary school, and uh, up to, I was in Rumbek Secondary School. Okay. And I was representing Rumbek in the school uh, first team. Mm -hmm. We came to Yuba here to compete, and I was representing <laughs> Rumbek by then. Okay, okay. So I played football, mm -hmm. and uh, also played football with Atlavara Club, mm -hmm. and I was a captain of Atlavara Club. So now you are retired. Ah, no, we are there. now we are actually now giving the, the experience yeah. to, to promote the sports all over the country. How was it like during your times and given this time right now, how was the sport by then in the time that you were a player and right now the time you are retired? Yes, I was saying to some of the youth, actually during our time, we are the generation of Addis Ababa agreement. And during our time, we are privileged to be given sports material in the schools 
we enjoy sport during that period. You can be given a uniform, the boot, and all this. Mm. So uh, during our time, we were brought in, and uh, there was actually bilateral agreement with other countries. And those countries, they are supplying uh, southern region by then by sports material during the time of Isaac Ely. Isaac Ely, of course, is one of the sports uh, personalities in South Sudan, is one of the champions. And I had privilege also to be trained by Isaac Ely in Rumbek. And there are a number of them available now. And uh, during our time, we were privileged to, to, to actually uh, experience good coaching and also material available. At the moment, and this information also, we, pass, we are passing mm -hmm. it also to the mm -hmm. National Minister of Sports. Mm -hmm. We have to make sure that we have to go into bilateral uh, relations with other countries in the sports sector so that they bring in sports material because the sports material currently is lacking in South Sudan. Okay, yeah. thank you. We'll be right back to you. Thank you so much, dear viewers on SSBC, for joining us. And you are following the sport programs on SSBC coming to live from the National Capital, Juba. My name is Majur Cholko. This week, we are looking at the role of South Sudan National Olympic Committee in the sport in the Republic of South Sudan. And to help us understand more in this episode is Honorable Engineer Juma Stephen, the President of South Sudan National Olympic Committee. Dear viewers, let's have a break and we'll be right back around South Sudan. We are proud to be part of the sport update and history in your sporting life. In this show, we update the sport lovers on the progress of the sport in South Sudan, such as football, basketball, tennis, boxing, volleyball, wrestlings, and many more. Don't miss to follow us and join our group of sports analysts and experts as we bring them to you in this show through interviews and talk shows. Sport programs sport on programs. SSBC, SSBC. Play, like play like champion for better South Sudan. In the sport show we bring to you Welcome back, dear viewers on SSBC. You are still following the sport programs, and my guest, Honorable Juma Stevens, you are welcome back. Yeah, thank you. thank you. Let's look at uh, the uniqueness of South Sudan National Olympic Committee. What makes South Sudan National Olympic Committee to be unique from others, or if it is not unique, why? Well, uh, of course, Olympic itself is unique. Because uh, Olympic all over the world, according to the Olympic values and norms, the Olympic is there to bring peace and harmony. Mm -hmm. And every year they are celebrating Olympic Day. And history of Olympic Day, it will go back to 18 something mm -hmm. uh, when it was established. And during the, 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 the Olympic, all the countries in the world, they have to stop hostility. Because all the countries, they are there to, 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 to compete. And uh, they enjoy the games. And that is the uniqueness of Olympic. So in the country, of course, Olympic is there to stabilize, to bring peace among the youth. So we consider it as unique. If they, they can come together and celebrate annually. And every four years, they will actually now be together with other young people in the world and compete. They will uh, have new, uh, they have to know themselves with the other nations and uh, enjoy the game. They are playing the game, they are enjoying it, and they are getting more information and knowledge. In the Olympics, they are talking of you move and do exercise and learn something new. So in Olympic, always you have to learn. You have to learn something new. Okay. All and boys you, and girls. You talk about unity and peace among the youth. Yes. As one of the uniqueness of South Sudan National Olympic Committee or Olympic Committee. Yes. If we can talk about the unity and peace of South Sudanese youth, according yes. to your experience, yes. being the president, being the, the, the soccer man in the country, 
What have you experienced? Is a South Sudanese youth united through a sport or are they not united? They are united. If you can go back, uh, I cannot recall well, either 2017 or 2018, mm. when they actually gathered here in Juba Football Stadium, yeah. we can remember we played against, I think, Djibouti or Somali. Mm. And you can see how they, 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 they actually, they were happy when we defeated one of the countries, uh, I think five goals mm. or six goals, I cannot remember <laughs> when. Yeah, uh, sure. All of them was actually, yeah, it was actually <laughs> something very, very, very special mm -hmm. for the use of South Sudan. Everybody was happy. What and do you that think is, that, that give that spirit? What make your sport give that spirit of togetherness and unity among the youth? What, what, because that what, is a national team representing the whole country. And all of them are under this flag of South Sudan. You can see? They are under the one flag of South Sudan. And so do happy. you think what they only see is the plug they don't see about the exactly their tribe? that you are representing the nation the players are happy and the fans are happy and all the citizens they were happy because that one was a representation of of the country you know and I just to connect this with uh, mm -hmm. Gore Marial mm -hmm. when uh, our uh, referendum South Sudanese vote they voted for secession from Sudan. And it, it coincided in 2012, there was Olympic game in London. Gore Marial said he will not run under the flag of Sudan because South Sudan is already that, uh, determined their fate. They are going as a country. But he wanted to compete there. The International Olympic Committee gave him an opportunity to run under the flag of International Olympic Committee because we are now a separate country, but not yet recognized by the UN. You know, it was in the process of being a country. Mm. <clears throat> so after running under the IOC flag, he was given a second opportunity in Rio de Janeiro to run under the flag of South Sudan. You can see. So the sports, in the sports, you are representing the country because the flag is there. The flag of South Sudan was raised in Olympic Village in Rio de Janeiro. That is everything. That is the, 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 the presence of the, your nation, the sovereignty of your country. You know. So all the sports, if they manage to, 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 to get a medal, the national anthem will be sung there. You can see the flag and the national anthem. So it is the supreme uh, entity in the country. Okay. Because the flag is the one bringing people together in harmony and in peace. So in this, through the explanation that you gave, meaning sport is what is a unifying all, is, is, factor. Is a unifying factor, exactly. bring unity and peace among the true. youth. Mm. And now, as South Sudan National Olympic Committee, what have been your plan for 2021? You talk about South Sudan being in crisis. Yes. What are your plans? We have developed a strategic plan for this period. And in the strategic plan, there is much, uh, we cannot uh, say much here, yeah. but in the strategic plan, we say we have to develop the use, the capacity building, athletes, managers, coaches, referees. This one needs to be, to be done. So it is part of the plan. The second also, we have to create new playgrounds in all of our estates. And this information, we are passing it to all the governors in the 10 states. Let them create new playgrounds. What is the reaction, the governors? We are going to write to them officially. We mentioned, but it happened, the crisis, as I, I said, I told you. Mm. Because this strategic plan was done in 2017. Went and we are now pushing it so that it is done, you know. So it is a message to all the governors and to the, the coming commissioners so that at least they have to create, according to what we told them, that let them create new five playgrounds in their counties and in the, even the, the states. The creating these playgrounds will bring the youth to, make, to put their time 
in playing sports in the different uh, estates within within the country. Let's briefly talk about the other affiliated federation to South Sudan National Olympic Committee. Uh, I want just to talk about basketball, tennis, uh, the other game that you have mentioned. Yes. What is the perception of South Sudanese on these games that are played in the country? Because they can only see dominant, uh, the dominating kind of uh, game is football, uh, basketball, uh, and other games. I don't know. Are there some people trying to? What is the perception exactly? Uh, that is true. Uh, you know, of course, football is uh, known all over the world, and mm. people are following, and actually, it's one of the major uh, discipline within, mm -hmm. within the sports. South Sudan has the potential. In basketball, because of our height, you can see there is privilege in the height. And in the NBA, mm -hmm. if you are following the news, we have South Sudanese there. Even the current uh, national team, which compete in East Africa, they have gone now to the second level, and they are going to compete soon. You know, so there are potentials in basketball. There are potential in volleyball, because the same height we can use it in the volleyball. And uh, our team happened to go for beach volleyball. They went there and they have gone to the next level. So the potential is available. We need stability all over the country, and we'll discover more in the athletics. We are not different from Ethiopia. We are not different from Kenya. We are not different from Uganda. These are our neighbors. If they can get trophies and medals in athletics, South Sudan can do that. When is South Sudan going to do that? I am talking of stability in the country. And we'll discover new talent in the region. You know, uh, we, we, last year... <laughs> I was, we were told in the Olympic Committee, there was a person in uh, Tonj. I think he can run mm. actually very fast. And that person came up to Juba here. Mm. You know? Running from Tonj to Juba? Can, no, no, not to Juba. <laughs> he can run and catch a gazelle. Okay. <laughs> I thought, yes. I thought he was running from Tonj to Juba. He can, yes, he can run and catch a gazelle. Okay. So that talent need to be developed and we have many of them and we were told that there, are, there is another person also in Bentiu but how can we bring them and discover them you know there are many if you go to Kapoita there are many also in Kapoita even here in Jungule so these people to be discovered it needs stability all over so that they can, can come and join the, 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 the federation so that they are actually more and go into uh, practice training so that they turn, they, we turn them into champions. Let's, talk about, can let's talk about women participation in the sport. Are women involved in the country, in the sport activities, yes. especially the ladies? Women also is very important because also there are directives given to, to, to the Olympic family that we have to bring in a female element. And actually, uh, in 2018, we were in Argentina for the youth tournament. And uh, the instruction is that the representation is 50-50. 50 female, 50 girls. And it go in construction or forming of a national team. Mm. So female element is there. And the next step, after the, 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 the games... Sometimes they are dropped out. There are those who are not willing to continue doing their sports. They have to be brought in for management. You know, they have to be trained how to manage the, 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 the sports. They have to be brought in for coaching. They have to be brought in for referee. So there is no drop out. And in this, I'm telling people that the sport is for life, you know. It is a continuous thing up to the end. You know. So in sports, uh, we have to move up to the end. So the uh, element of female is already considered. 
And okay. in the Olympic Committee, we have a commission. Inside the Olympic Committee, we have a commission for female. And this commission is led by Honorable uh, Rebecca Joshua. She is responsible for women commission under the Olympic uh, Committee. And she's pushing it so that other women can be uh, brought in, actually, to push and train the women in the sector. Ali, you talk of South Sudan National Olympic Committee or athletes going outside in 2017 to represent South Sudan. Yeah. What was the performance of South Sudanese, especially you? Well, of course, uh, in Rio de Janeiro, uh, they performed because the period was very short. When we were affiliated in 2015, mm. then they announced that South Sudan will participate in uh, Rio de Janeiro. So it is a matter of some months. So those who are available, like Gormarial, I told you, and we have uh, Santino Kenyi and uh, Margaret. These were the athletes uh, training. Uh, Margaret was uh, he participated in China for the youth uh, Olympic tournament. So she was also given that opportunity. So this series, they represented South Sudan uh, in uh, Rio de Janeiro. Even though they did not go to final, but they have started and shown that South Sudan present is there, as I mentioned it, and for the first time, the, the flag was raised in Rio de Janeiro. Coming after Rio de Janeiro, athletic federations are doing their level best to promote their sports. They have sent some athletes to Uganda to train there, some in Kenya, and uh, they actually participated in a, a number of uh, tournaments. And it is promising. It is promising because the last one last year, they were in uh, Morocco for all African games. So our presence is always there. And actually, uh, it is a process, and our athletes are gaining momentum. They are gaining, actually, to, 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 to score a new record. Uh, let us talk of uh, Lucia. This is from WOW. Now she's in Japan with other athletes. They're doing... Uh, uh, competition they are preparing for Tokyo 2020. Mm. Actually, now there, her record is changing. You know, she's uh, running for 100 meters and 200 meters. The time that she scored in Morocco is not the same time now in uh, Japan. That means there is progress. Okay. And we are ho optimistic that they will do something in the near future. And there are many of them inside South Sudan. Most of the time, if I sit with a sportsman, I mean the kids, the players, the football players, sometimes basketball players, they mention a lot of challenges. And what yeah. make most of the youth sometimes to leave sport and others not to join the sporting activities like football, basketball, is the way that people are being motivated by the clubs. Sometimes you'll find that the club is not paying the players, so you'll try to go and look for your own way of survival, what modalities or how do you, as South Sudan National Olympic Committee, motivate this federation, affiliated federation to the committee? You know, uh, the athletes actually in their uh, federations, they are doing their uh, training <coughs> in different, uh, because they, we have uh, in the, the, the association of federations, each state, they have a local federation and association. And uh, at the national level, also we have them. So these players, normally, if they practice at the state level, and of course there is an association and federation responsible for them. But if their performance is getting better, then they will be picked by the national federations. You know. So this one they will come for the national team. And the Olympic Committee will see also the National Federation, then they will pick also from them to form Olympic team. So the issue of challenges is there. So do you mean when uh, these clubs or players are taken from the local team to the national team, they will have the privileges to enjoy? Yeah, of course. What if are those they are picked uh, for national team, mm. Of course, there are many uh, privileges which will happen. 
they will be under the responsibility of their national federation. And there they will be camping. And the camping normally either inside or outside. This itself is one of the uh, incentives to a player because they have changed the environment. You know, changing but the environment is something also good for them and new. And the other incentives, if they win, of course, automatically they will have medals or they will have trophies. But don't you think, Honorable, is a long journey for you to reach the national team without having a support on the ground? Well, uh, to build a sport person is actually it's a long-term thing. If they have studied in the childhood or the youngster uh, level, then they have to move even up to beyond 20s, up to 30 years. And normally they can go even up to 35. So if they have start 15, from 15 years up to 30, so it is something a long term and it's part of the life. They have to put in their mind that they want to be a champion. Being a champion is a long process. So they have to undergo training right from the state level and they will come to the national level. Then if their performance is good, of course, obviously, the nation will now pick, uh, put attention to, to, to such players because they need to be actually uh, given incentives. They as, need to as, be as South Sudan National Olympic Committee, what do you have financial support to the Appleted Federation that you mentioned earlier? At the moment, uh, there is nothing, you know, and as part of the challenges actually is always finance. For example, when we took our uh, national team to Morocco last year, mm -hmm. uh, no financial uh, release from the, the, the ministry. But we have to make sure that we have to take the team. So uh, with uh, relations, we managed to get actually something so that we take the team. And we are still pursuing that we have to return this money to the, to the owners. So uh, it is part of the challenges in the country that we need harmony, we need stability in the country so that things will be normal. And if things are normal, of course, we can move like other, any other country in the region and in the world. Because giving attention to sports is very important. Okay. Yes. Giving attention to the sport in the country is very important, is according true. to Honorable. Dear that viewers, thank you so much. You are, you are watching the sport programs coming to you live uh, from the National Capital Juba on SFBC. Dear viewers, let's have a break and we'll be right back shortly. Yeah. Football, basketball, tennis, boxing, volleyballs, wrestlings, and many more. Don't miss to follow us and join our group of sports analysts and experts as we bring them to you in this show through interviews and talk shows. Sport programs sport on programs. SSBC. SSBC. Play like champion Play like for champion. better sauce. Welcome back, dear viewers on SSBC. You are still following the sport programs on SSBC. My name is Majur Cholkor, and with me in the studio is Honorable Engineer Juma Stephen, the president of South Sudan National Olympic Committee, is helping us understanding the role of South Sudan National Olympic Committee in the sport in the Republic of South Sudan. And I just quote from him, sport in the country need attention of everyone. And let me come back. That I like that true. word. That is true. Who is that person? Well, from the leadership, right from our president, uh, General Salva Kir Mayardi, he has to put attention in the sports sector, as well as all the vice presidents, and specifically to minister of his sports, you know, as a person responsible. Mm. Because his sports is right from the leadership. They have to give attention to their sports. All over the world, it is like that. Do you think they are not giving attention to the sport? Like at the moment, uh, it is not that much. Yes, we have to give attention to the sports, right from the leadership, so that e sports can be promoted. Because now, let me talk of Tokyo, preparation for Tokyo 2020. Preparation for Tokyo 2020, we are urged to pay for hotels in Tokyo, so that we prepare. It's to be paid in advance. 
So the attention you're talking about here is them paying you the money, giving you the money to pay the hotel or for the sport activities? No, this is budget, budget for Olympic. So that budget is to be prepared and submitted to the Ministry of Sports. So that one actually needs attention because by now we are supposed to be in Tokyo. You know? Okay. Yes. So that preparation earlier actually was not accomplished. Accomplished. So uh, giving attention is the early preparation. You know? So uh, that early preparation is still we're going to coordinate with the Minister of his Sport so that all this can be put into consideration. Do you go knocking at the door of these people that are supposed to give the attention? Yeah, we have already moved. We have uh, moved as an Olympic committee and we congratulated the vice presidents. We visited them to their locations mm. and we passed to them the information about the challenges facing National Olympic Committee. Maybe only the president, uh, we don't have that a privilege to see the president. But we already saw uh, first vice president, Dr. Riyang Mashar, uh, we're always with uh, Dr. Wani Iga, Tabandeng, Mama Nyandeng, as well as Hissen Abdul Baki. All this we saw them and we passed the information concerning the, uh, the sports in the country. We've already communicated to them. Okay. Especially because our sector is under the Mama Rebecca. Okay. And she's already uh, taken attention that, and we're expecting her to visit uh, South Sudan National Olympic Committee so with, together with the Minister of Sports so that more we can give to, to her because she is responsible for the sector. Honorable, once again, let me say it. Before you, we leave the studio, anything that have not touched and is very important and is part of the role of South Sudan National Olympic Committee in supporting the sport or building the sport in the country, you can mention that. Well, uh, at the moment, just uh, we want to say to our athletes and the sport family that uh, we need you to be uh, attentive to specifically this uh, corona period uh, because we need everybody to be safe. All the sport family members and uh, even the, the, the members uh, in the country, people have to be safe so that when the, 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 the sports uh, opens, then we need everybody to, to come in. But during this uh, lockdown, uh, period, let us follow the instructions from the National Ministry of Health uh, together with the instruction from the leadership to avoid contact, to avoid gathering. People can do exercise as individual uh, exercise in uh, the houses and wherever uh, it is, but not in a group. Because in a group it is not allowed at the moment. But we are optimistic that soon it will be lifted because in Europe they have already playing uh, games but without uh, fans. So also in South Sudan, when it is lifted, we have to follow the, the instruction. When do you think? Avoid. When are we expecting that? Of course, the Minister of Health will give us the light. Okay. And if the National Minister of Health give that uh, green light, then we'll pass the information to all the sector. Thank you so much. Thank Honorable. you very much. Thank you. Once again, allow me to say it. I'm profoundly honored and exceedingly yeah. humble having you in the sport programs on SFBC. Thank you. Thank you so much, dear viewers on SFBC, for following this week editions of the sport programs on SFBC. This week, we have been looking on the role of South Sudan National Olympic Committee in, uh, in sport in the Republic of South Sudan. And my guest was Honorable Engineer Juma Stephen, the President of South Sudan National Olympic Committee. I've been your host, Majur Cholkor. And with the colleagues, technical team in the studio, we do say thank you so much for accompanying us and join us again next week for another edition of the sport program on SSBC. Thank you so much and do have a blessed time. Thank you. Different sporting activities in and around South Sudan. We are proud to be part of the sport update and history in your sporting life.